Hey everybody, it's Courtney and Twinkie. Hi. And we're coming at you live like we always do, which means you can write in and ask questions to Twinkie Chan, who is a master crocheter. And she had an awesome um, fruits and veggies. Eat your fruits and veggies, right? It's the Eat Your Fruits and Veggies Crochet Along. I love it, and that's launched, launched this month. And what kind of veggies are in that? Oh my gosh, there's nine different parts to the class. We started with strawberries and blueberries, and potatoes just launched on Monday. Uh, the potatoes were adorable. <laughs> the potatoes are really cute. I'm not going to remember the whole list, but we're ending with got, pineapple, which is really pineapple, awesome. watermelons, radishes, eggplants, tomatoes. Apple. Apple, so, tomato, do we say that? Yeah. There's some really nine. awesome fruits and veggies. There's nine, there's a lot. <laughs> and how did you start this project? Um, I actually first made my nephew a basket of fruit and veggies for his first birthday present. That's so cute. And um, if you want, you can put rattles inside for babies. So it's really cool to teach them like the names of fruits and veggies and colors and numbers and things like that. That's so, awesome. Yeah. They're like the cutest ever. I love it. I love them too. <laughs> They're so sweet. Um, and so, I mean, obviously the fruits and veggies are something that is recognizably you as an accessory, but you're also kind of known for like junk food, right? True, but we decided for this class to try to keep it healthy. We're keeping it healthy. Yeah. <laughs> I know I always have a problem with my junk food, so. No, I know. We're going with our fruits and veggies this time. <laughs> yes. But you are known for a lot of accessories, right? Like you do scarves, barrettes. Yes, I like to crochet things that are cute but are also useful, which is, I used to call it cutility. I don't really say that anymore. Oh, I it's kind of gimmicky, cutility. but <laughs> yeah, so like I don't like things to just sit around. I mean, they look perfectly gorgeous just sitting, but I like to try to incorporate them into outfits or stuff around your house so you can oh, use them in your everyday life. Cool. So uh, what kinds of projects do you have? Um, Twinkie thought she'd share some ideas for using some of those fruits and veggies instead of just putting them in a basket if you're not going to make them into kids' toys, what you could do with them. Yeah, oh yeah, like I wear all kinds of strange things and I encourage other people too to have fun with their crafting and their fashion. So today we're going to make some cute berry hair clips. I love those. Um, you can make them big, small, we're going to, I would call this maybe medium. We're going to make a medium sized one today. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to make a broccoli pin, this little guy that I'm I wearing. Love that. <laughs> like a little brooch. You yeah. do a lot of brooches, right? Yeah. I just stick anything everywhere. I love over. it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to also show you how to make this really cute um, cherry zipper pull for like your purse or your jacket or I your love hoodie. I love on your hoodie. Yeah. Um, and if you haven't checked out Twinkie's classes, we have a special giveaway also. Um, if you like our Facebook page and comment on this live stream and share with your friends, you can win this entire goodie basket of yarn. And there's also a promo code um, to check out Twinkie's classes. She has a bunch of other existing really cute critters on our site. And you just need to use the promo code LION, L-I-O-N, because all of this is made with... Lion brand yarn. Yeah, <laughs> which is super fun. Um, it's Vanna's Choice, right? It is. It's all Vanna's Choice. I love the color palette for a lot of these fruits and veggies. So you can win this whole kit and caboodle here, plus a whole bag of polyfill, which I think a lot of these guys are filled with, right? Some, yeah, well, the bigger ones are polyfill. The smaller ones, I just use yarn. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Uh, we don't have the polyfill bag here, but you can win all of that, and we'll pick our winners next week. You just have to remember to like our Facebook page, comment on this particular post, and share it with your friends. And I also forgot to mention that um, Charlie is joining us, but he's being a little shy at the moment. I think he was just really curious about the fruits Maybe. and veggies. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to start with, the barrette maybe? Um, yeah, we can start with that. Cool. Um, I brought kind of a bunch of berries. You can arrange them however you want. Um, you can do like three strawberries on one barrette. Um, Fun. But I thought maybe I would just duplicate this one just because it incorporates more than one berry. I love that. So you could have a set. Yeah. So these are just French clips or barrettes. I get them on Etsy. I always check to see if they're broken because you don't want to waste all your good crochet on a broken piece of hardware. Totally. And when there's an even number, I like to start gluing on the edges. If there's an odd number, I'll start from the center. Oh, that's a good tip. Just so things um, are Enough. spaced well. Mm -hmm. And if you're afraid of the barrette being too shiny, you can always cut a piece of felt or use a piece of thin ribbon oh, smart. and glue that on first. But I figure we're just gonna keep this quick and dirty today. So we're just gonna go straight onto here. I love that. And we're gonna use hot glue. And I think hot glue can get a bad rap sometimes, but I've hot glued metal to crochet for years and I've kept the pieces and nothing's ever fallen off. I love it. And you, I mean, worst came to worst, you could just hot glue something new on. Right, <laughs> yeah. there's an endless amount of hot glue. So I would, yeah, it's so easy. You're just, it's basically just, putting a small dab of glue 
on your crochet piece. Starting at one end. Yeah, and I'm going to start at the far edge here. And just a note, you want to hold that down maybe for like 30 seconds. Just really make good contact, so yeah, you're pressing a little if bit. I've let go too early sometimes, and then it's just like this gooey, like, and then it hardens into oh. this weird like stalagmite kind of a thing. So just hold that down for a second. Just make sure the glue has some time to cool off. Awesome. I know you just use a lot of hot glue, um, and you get those little like spider web strings, those little glue strings. Sometimes we call them glue boogers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go on this edge here. And just hold that down. Awesome. Have you seen those like hot glue finger protectors before? I heard someone talking about those yesterday, but I've never used them. They're like a rubber finger I've protector. I've never used them too. Yeah, they're like just little rubber tips for your fingers. I know a lot of girls who work with hot glue and they're like, they literally say they've hot glued their fingerprints off. <laughs> wow, that's intense. So I'm gonna put a strawberry next here. Sure. And I'm gonna go right onto the metal here. So when you have something really large and you want to make sure it lines up with the brit, you would recommend just putting the glue on the brit Yeah, I feel like instead. it's harder to guesstimate how much glue to put on there. Gotcha. And I don't want it to get like super like oozy and gross. So totally. sometimes I'll just go straight onto the metal and hold that on for a little bit. I love that. This is the part where I'm like watching TV while I'm doing this. Smart. So you can kill Would you ever time. put little eyes on these? Yes, like I have eyes on my broccoli brooch. Um, oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. And you can use safety eyes, and you can snap them in while you're making them. But for me, I also feel like when you're working on something really small like the broccoli, um, it's easier to just finish the piece, and you can glue the safety eyes on afterward. And of oh, course, that's, cool. that's only for if it's not for a little kid. Right. Um, but if it's like if you're making an accessory for a grown up, you can take safety eyes and a wire cutter and just snap the post off the back. Perfect. And then I'll use like a gel super glue to glue the oh. eyes on. Okay, as opposed to hot glue. Yeah, the hot glue I feel like doesn't stick to the safety eye plastic as well as, well as yeah, like a, a good super glue. Cool. That's, a, that's another good tip. So there's oh my super God, that's cute so hair cute. clip. Oh, look. Yeah. Little set. <laughs> Matching set, I love it. That's it's so, so cute. a really cute present. I love that. For someone of any age. I know. And then how would you make the broccoli brooch? Um, again, it's just really easy. It's just hot glue. Hot glue. So you find these pin backs on Etsy. This is a three quarter inch pin back. And again, I would check your hardware first. You can probably also sure get these at the craft store too, right? Yeah. The local craft shop. Um, definitely, you can, there's sort of more custom sizing that you can get on cool. Etsy, but these are definitely at any craft store. And um, you might want to look at your piece and decide if there's like a pretty side and an ugly side. So you can mm. put this on the ugly side. Right. Um, this is looking pretty cute all around yeah. to me. I don't really have it's the full 360 really view. Just as a reminder, you guys, we're live. <laughs> Brian's reminding me, which means you can write in and ask Twinkie questions. She's superstar on our site. She's done a lot of really cute crocheted critters. She just had an eat, eat your fruits and veggie crochet along um, launch this month, which includes nine fruits and veggies, all using Lion Brand yarn. And if you like our Facebook page, you comment on this post and share it with a friend, then you're entered to win this whole yarn kit and caboodle, including a bag of polyfill, which is used to stuff some of the larger fruits and veggies. And we'll pick that winner next week. So make sure you're liking and commenting. Um, and Twinkie's just showing us how to take some of your fruits and veggies, especially the smaller ones, and make them into really cute accessories. <laughs> I love that the color contrast. <laughs> that looks cute. You wouldn't think good. to have a broccoli brush, but they're actually Pretty cute. Yeah, the broccoli roach is the way to go. Yeah. And here it's all the rage on the street. Yeah. Charlie, what do you think? Mm. He's like, yes, that is for me. No, he's like, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> and then you had one more idea, and I really liked this because uh, you learn how to make blueberries in yes. the crochet along, but you don't know how to make cherries, but they're the same, right? It's the exact same pattern. It's super easy. It's just this little ball. And um, are so cute. with just a little extra chain. So I'm going to show you how to put this whole chain together. It's really easy. I think it'd be cute raspberries too. I know my raspberries kind of look like this. Yeah. <laughs> just switch out the color. So you've got two pre-made blueberries, but in the red with color, red. So they look like cherries. And then it's a really just simple chain. Um, start with a good, maybe like 10 inches of yarn first. Mm -hmm. And then I made a chain, it's almost six inches long. Yep and then leave yourself another tail. Cool, and then you need like a tapestry needle. Yeah, we're gonna grab our tapestry needle and string either end through. You're going, if you prefer a top or bottom of your cherry, pierce through the top. 
Okay, starting with the top of the cherry. And go all the way through the center and come out the bottom. You're gonna pull this all the way through. Start pulling the actual chain through to the bottom until okay. it starts coming out. Okay, so you pull just, chain through until it comes right to the bottom. Yeah, you just want that kind of secure in there. right inside there. And then just tie a knot here to secure the tail in. Cool. And um, I know it's a contrasting color and you can see the knot, but, but I love it, it's actually. still cute. Yeah, yeah, it's not a problem. <laughs> I think it's a nice little detail. And then you just, again, as we normally do, just weave this tail in through, mm -hmm. and then you want to hide the tail inside the cherry like this. We're just securing the bottom of that chain gotcha. or stem. Because I like securing from the bottom, so when there's pulling on it, it's not like making this top part all skinny oh, and smart. stretched out. So I secure those from the bottom of the cherry. That's smart, yeah. So all that tension's like inside of the cherry. Yes, instead of at the top. and it won't get all mutated and weird looking. Yeah, distorted. We have a comment. Oh, um, yeah, you guys, were live, so feel free to write in. Allison said we have a comment and question. Ashley comments, she says, Twiggy Chan, I absolutely love your flamingo dress. Aw, <laughs> thank you. We were just getting some compliments on the flamingo <laughs> dress. Where did that come from? It's from Tallulah's Threads. I'm not really sure exactly what the URL is at this moment, but if you Google it. It's from the UK, and they have a lot of cute dresses. It's really cute. It, when she stands up, it's really adorable. So. <laughs> thank she always you. has such great style. Oh, thank you. It's like I appreciate It's the perfect it. compliment to all thank of Thank you. The, uh, <laughs> the fun fruit and veggie swag. So we just um, strung the other yarn tail through. Oh, gotcha, okay. And then you're gonna grab your, well, they call them lobster clasps, your little zipper pull. Mm -hmm. I buy these on Etsy too. Mm -hmm. You can't really find them this large or like mm -hmm. this size. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's a swiveling stores. one. Yes, so you might wanna look on, look, look on Etsy for that cool. particular piece of hardware. And so we're just gonna string our tapestry needle through this bottom loop here. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna guesstimate kind of the halfway point. Gotcha. Kind of halfway of like the bottom of your chain, you're imagining that's where the bottom of your cherry is. Right. And to secure this in the center, I pass my tapestry needle back through the chain right under that metal Can you bring part. it up here actually? Yeah, Sorry. like this? Just a little bit closer. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Right. Just getting a good shot for you guys. I'm gonna pull that chain through itself here. Oh, smart. And that secures it and it won't like, you know. Again, the tugging will move distort through. it. Yeah, and if you feel like you want it to be even more secure, you can pass it through another chain again. Smart, really. Like and that's that. just extra and it's not going anywhere. So cute. And all you do to finish is just pass this through the second cherry through the top of it, right through the bottom. Make sure that chain is actually hitting the bottom. Yep, it's not going through anymore. So I think that's as far as it's gonna go. That's cool. And then just tie one more knot and weave in the tail. And that's it. It's super easy. I love that adaptation. It's really cute. Blueberry to cherry, make a zipper yeah. pull. This would be so cute on a backpack. Could you even do like a little ornament like that? Sure. I mean, you don't really need, you don't need the, the pole. yeah the pole, but you can definitely have a really cute just faux like cherry chain. tree. Yeah. yeah, that's so cute. I love it. Oh my god, <laughs> adorable. You could put it on Charlie's leash. Yeah, you should put it on your collar. <laughs> what do you think? You might need a haircut first. <laughs> oh my god, that's so so cute. I love okay, that. And it's super easy. Anyone can do it. It's super fun. That's so cool. Do you have any other projects planned? Are you working on anything fun design wise? Um, well, I have, I'm part of an exhibition in LA in October, so I'm oh. like fiercely making a bunch of stuff for that. Oh, that's exciting. That's yeah, at the Knitting Small tree. scale, big scale. Um, it's just kind of like showing my, sort of what I'm known for, so it's going to be a lot of food scarves cool. and like little bags and hair awesome. clips and brooches like we did today. So. That's so cool. I love that. Yeah. If you guys haven't checked out Twinkie's classes, she has a lot of crocheted critters already on Creative Bug. You can use the promo code LION because we're using Lion Brand Yarn to check out those classes and her crochet along, which started this month. Um, it's got nine fruits and veggies. It's mm -hmm. called Eat Your Fruits and Veggies. Crochet along. Crochet along. <laughs> and also, if you've liked our Facebook page and you've shared this with a friend and commented on this post, then you'll be entered to win this whole kit and caboodle of yarn to make all of these fruits and veggies in bag of polyfill and we'll, we're gonna pick the winner next week and um, do we have any more questions or comments Allison? Well I have a question for folks who are just joining us, well Twinkie for, for folks who are just joining us, can you tell us how you got started crocheting 
fruits and cake and, and treats like you have? So the question is, how did um, Twinkie Chan get started on her crochet extravaganza? You've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, maybe since like 2005, it's like a little cool. over 10 years. Um, well, I started with scarves. It's when I moved here mm -hmm. and I was living in Glen Park and it gets kind of foggy there. Mm -hmm. So, and I was like, I don't want to wear a turtleneck. That's not cool. <laughs> so I wanted to make some really cute scarves that I couldn't find in the store. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people were making animal scarves already. So, mm -hmm. I, and I've always had a love for like fake food toys, like cool. vintage food toys. So it's kind of combining everything that I loved into one thing. So it was like the food scarf mm -hmm. phenomenon and um, everything just kind of took off from there. I was like, what other foods can we stick on other parts of our bodies and still look cute? Yeah, I love that. And you now you're a couple books in. Yeah, two books. Which is awesome. And do you have like a favorite food motif scarf that you wear now? Favorite food motif scarf? That's hard because like the new new thing is like always the favorite thing. True, yeah. But um, I do have a soft spot for the pizza scarf, the pepperoni pizza scarf. Yeah, that, I it's think a that, statement. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't seen her um, trailer, Twinkie's trailer, you can check it out on CBTV, and I, I think that might be in there. There might be some B-roll of that. Can't we remember. have another question. Gabriella wants to know, what is your favorite hook to crochet your projects? So Gabriella is asking, what's uh, Twinkie's favorite hook for crocheting projects? To be honest, I haven't really widely explored all the different hooks. I mean, they're all different sizes and shapes mm -hmm. and materials. Um, I don't have one out, but lately, I've, like, I'm a solid Susan Bates girl. Mm -hmm. That's just the type of head that I like. Mm -hmm. um, but the normal steel ones do kind of hurt your hands, so I've started using the ones with the bamboo handle. Oh, nice. Gives like you a little, little more, yeah, it's a little easier on the hand. Nice, very cool. We have another question. Angie wants to know, do you ever use cotton or only acrylic yarn? Do you ever use cotton or only acrylic yarn, Angie's asking. I'll use cotton if I'm making like a dishcloth or an oven mitt kind of a thing, but my personal preference is really in the acrylic. Like I find a lot of wool itchy. I try to find soft acrylics, like mm -hmm. the Lion Brand Banner's Choice, I really like a lot. I feel like their colors are colors. really vibrant too. Yeah, there's a great color range, um, so I'm just really comfortable with that, it has a good drape for the work that I want to do. Cotton tends to be either too floppy or too stiff for mm -hmm. the work that I do, and the acrylic just has more of the drape that I'm looking for. I love that. Yeah, I love that so many of these fruits and veggies have a lot of great detail, but then you can have a much larger scale. The pineapple is adorable. I can't wait for that to come out. Me too. So awesome. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining us. Remember we do these live shoots every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Thank you Twinkie for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. We're really excited about her crochet along Eat Your Fruits and Veggies. Remember to like and share and comment on this post, which you can still do. We're gonna be picking our winner for the giveaway next week and we'll see you on Thursday.